First out the tunnel, a funny guy from the Emerald City who proves that on his side it's heart over height. Out of Seattle, Washington, it's Deshae Frost Burke. This man right here proves that big things come in small packages. He's As I'm I. Next, out of the tunnel. The visionary behind Hypeland has been doing this since he was a pup. But it's safe to say that my guy got that dog in him. Out of Los Angeles, California, Jordan B -b -b Bentley. All right, all right, all right. Wow. And the choice of Beamer, Benzer, Bentley, the dance is obvious. That's right, that's right. Next up, out of the tunnel. Some say the most prolific talent out of Wichita since Freddie Van Vliet himself. Standing at six feet tall with bounce out the gym. Make some noise for DeAdrian Hardy! Wow, what news. He is a pest on and off the court. I'm looking for him to channel that Patrick Beverly energy tonight. Seems as he's already doing that. Next out of the tunnel. A YouTube Titan who's been to more NBA games in the past two years than Kawhi and Ben Simmons combined. Standing at six foot two out of Los Angeles, California. Mm, Jesse! This was the first man to ever drop out of high school and go straight to the YouTube pros. He's been an MVP in multiple scrimmages and exhibitions before. Jesse Kimball. That is absolutely true. Next up out of the tunnel. The Prince of Park take overs, whose riz is as silky as his jump shot. A Creator League veteran standing at six foot four out of Litchfield Park, Arizona. One time for the wild boy, Cam Wilder. They hate to see a pretty boy winning deuce, and unfortunately for them, that's all Cam Wilder's been doing lately. He's been on the coaching circuit, but today he's back where he belongs. I know that's right, Luke. Coming out next. The most athletic man in Creator League history who plays with a toughness that remains unmatched. So you know the boys out of Harlem, New York. One time for the young prodigy kid, it's YPK Ray. It's a showdown champion in his own right, coming off a tough loss in the football league. However, Lil Uzi Bird with the 50-inch vertical is poised to make some noise as usual. Absolutely, I'm really excited to see. Hopefully we can see him on the break. Next out of the tunnel, a former D3 Hooper and Creator League champion with a game as tight as his curls. At six foot two, out of Cuyuga Falls, Devonte Friga. No one has ever heard of his hometown, so it's safe to say Devonte Friga has put Cuyuga Falls on the map. Julius Caesar with range. He's a new father, and the competition are simply his sons. And finally. The moment you've been waiting for, a courtside menace taking his talents from Celebrity Road to the hardwood. Standing at six foot one, out of Houston, Texas, the captain, Gideon! You are looking at a Hall of Fame menace to society. Only this man would be brave enough to have a hair transplant surgery on live stream. He's got the silky, he's got the leg sleeve, he's got the kicks. This man can do it all. His basketball skills potentially limited, but he makes up for it in showmanship. Deuce, I hear you with the MVP right now. That's right, I am here with the man himself, Gideon. Talk to me, you handpicked this team yourself. What did you see in these players and who do you expect to really stand out tonight? Man, I just picked some dogs out there, man, and I'm just hoping we play as a team. That's all I want. All I care about is a dub, and I know they're gonna give it to us. That's right, that's right. Now, going into this matchup, I know that there might be a little bit of rivalry on the other side with Team Mark. Give me 10 seconds on what to expect from your team and a message that you want to send to Mark. Man, all I can tell them is that they're going to take some ferocious D and they won't be able to handle it. Pause, 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 pause. All right, Luke, back to you. Looks like Gideon took a heel turn just there. As always, what do you expect? A true class act. But across the hardwood, he will be facing a tough, tough test. Prepare for total domination. Domination, domination. And let's introduce Team Mark Phillips. Up first, at six foot two, an official RDC mercenary running and gunning his way to victory. Make some noise for Ippy! 
I mean, there's so much to say about this man. He's going to bring a lot to the table. Mark confirmed that he can hoop, so I'm excited to see what he's going to do. And he's got the long sleeve on in this Texas heat. You know he's built different. So there's a new addition to the squad and clearly a fan favorite early on. But up next, at 5'11", out of Sacramento, this man's been breaking ankles and hearts for years. It's the backyard legend himself, Marcellus Howard! Shout out my man, Cell. He's a sneaky MVP candidate for me today. Solely off the fact that he's a lefty. Lefties are hard to guard. He's crafty, brother. He's crafty. He's a three-level scorer. I'm expecting him to be a big threat from that four-point range. You gotta love Cell's game. Out the tunnel next. At 5-9 out of Atlanta, Georgia. One of the greatest to ever do it in the ace of AMP. I am Davis! Yes, sir! Davis! From stream to stream, he is always bringing the energy, and you know that this man is gonna bring it here today again. From sea to shining sea, because he's a cold-blooded patriot and speaking of a right, patriot. Right, right. Up next, standing 6'5", 235 out of Lansing, Michigan, the Madden Mastermind is back from a Y50 with a vengeance. It's M M G. Wow, you gotta love MMG. He's a two-time Creator League champion, or he's, excuse me, a two-time Showdown champion, and he's a golden boy with a golden smile. You gotta love MMG. We're all rooting for him today. Sneaky, gritty, athletic. He's the unofficial mascot of ASPCA, a true animal lover. Oh, he's for the he's for the dogs for sure. But Deuce up next at six foot seven out of Little Elm, Texas, with love. One half of a dynamic duel with Killer Cam Kennedy. That's right, that's right. Cam telling us yesterday that he's coming out of retirement for this. He says he doesn't have too much left in the tank, but I call Cap on that one. We're going to see just what he got left today. He may have been underselling his skill set because he looks like an absolute unit. And his better half is up next, standing six foot six out of Pflugerville, Texas. You should already know the name, stupid. It's Peyton Harden! Yes, sir. He's another one who said he was coming out of retirement. I'm looking forward to what he's going to do. With him and Cam, there's a bit of a size advantage on Team Mark, but I know that this is going to be a dog fight. Now, these two have electric chemistry. I'm curious how the coach will split their minutes because together they are unstoppable. Up next, as six foot one out of Greenville, South Carolina, the Rizzler is in the building. It's Duke Danny! boy Duke is going to be attacking the ring with military precision, so you better watch out. He's liable to do something crazy today and might mess around and win the MVP. Will Duke get dunked on? Ain't no way, boy. Ain't no way. And now, the main event, the moment you've all been waiting for. That six foot tall out of Dallas, Texas. The Hood Avatar. It's LeBron in the locker room. A man who's proved real dreams change the world time and time again. Give it up for Mark Phillips! Listen to the crowd, Luke. Listen to the crowd. He's beloved here in Austin, Texas. Him and RDC putting on this DreamCon is a special, special thing. Got all these people out here. We love to see it. Mark is about to put on a show with his team, and Gideon might have something to say about that. Now, Luke, I believe you are standing with the boy himself. Mark, what do you say to the fans at home who somehow declare that you fumbled the draft on Monday? I did not fumble the draft. I don't care about Devontae Frieger. I don't care about Cam Wilder. And I sure don't care about YPK Ray. My team, Duke, what's up, baby? Cam, Payton, we the All-Stars, dream team, baby. Now, does having your cousin, sorry, your nephew, someone with NBA experience, how does he impact winning today? Hey, can, can y'all get off the court? I'm still talking. Get off the court, man. Get off the court. What? All right, y'all can stay there, man. Last but not least, Gideon guaranteed victory. Can you do the same in his face? Gideon can't even hoop. Yes. My team winning for sure. All right, Mark, good luck today. We're going to go over to the coach of Team Mark Phillips, his nephew, NBA sharpshooter Armani Brooks. That's right. That is right. That is right. Uh, we are here with Coach Brooks. Now, Coach Brooks, Mark told us earlier that he is the best shooter in the family and that you're a close second. Can you confirm that? Uh, <laughs> we're going to find out in about five minutes. We're going to see who the best shooter is. <laughs> 
Now, now, you have NBA experience. What from the NBA are you going to bring to today and, and try and impart onto your team? Hopefully I can bring, you know, some organization. I'm sure it's going to get pretty hectic, so we're going to try to keep everybody calm and just let them move. Lord knows they're going to need it. Thank you, Coach Brooks. Luke, over to you and LSK. LSK, the young Pat Riley of Creator League. What's your strategy for the lineup in today's match? Are you starting your best five? Are you bringing in some offense off the bench? Speak uh, to me. I'm bringing some spark plugs off the bench. Uh, I got all around talent. Um, this five right here is my favorite five, Fab Five. And uh, look out for Gideon. Now, do you have any sets today, or is your team not competent enough to run them? What are you thinking? It's a tough balance to achieve. Listen, we just, we're out here to win. We're out here to have fun. Uh, I got a good squad and they got a chip on their shoulder. They weren't picked, but Gideon believes in them, I believe in them, and I believe we're gonna win tonight. All right, Chris London, the potential coach of the year candidate, good luck today. All right, all right, Luke, it looks like we are about to get underway. This game is gonna be four 12-minute quarters, running time, twos and threes, unless you got a foot on one of those four-point circles. And may I remind you that we have two referees here who know exactly what they're doing, and we do not argue with the referees on this side. Let's Great. get it. Great League Basketball Showdown starts right now. Gideon misses from the four-point arc, but you gotta love the attempt. Sell. A floor general guarded by YPK Ray. An intriguing matchup as the captains guarding each other on the wing. Phillips, what's it gonna be? Isolating on Gideon early on. A blow by and a foul. Deuce, can Gideon keep up with Mark? I do not think that he will be able to. Mark has the speed advantage on there. But on the other end, if Gideon gets him down in the post, it'll be a tough matchup. Cam Kennedy inbounding the ball. We see Peyton Harden is in right now, guarded by Cam Wilder. Got a bunch of Texas representation today. What about this cell YPK matchup right here? What do you got? Well, that's skill versus athleticism versus skill versus athleticism. So, I mean, it can go either way with the two of them. Phillips eyeing that four-point play early. Sizing up the opposition. Blow by to the Baja. Pump fake. Layup off the mark. Rebound hard and cannot connect. Gathered in by Ray. Deuce Ray is a specimen. He truly is. Basketball, football. I mean, he's young prodigy kid for a reason. There's nothing this man can't do. To the Baja lefty, blocked by Duke, and a foul is called on the play. YP will be headed to the line for two. Oh, wow. Well, if the refs called it, I'd say, you know, it's a good call. Who would you compare YPK Ray's game to? Ooh, that's a tough one. I would have to say, you know, the easy answer is John Morant. The athleticism, the speed, the swag, he got it all. Not the shooting, but let's see what he can do with the charity strike. Just off the mark at the line, getting dapped up by Cam and Jesser. What do you think of this starting five for Team Gideon? Team YPK Ray, Cam Wilder, Jesser, Gideon, and Friga. I mean, we got a lot of creator league representation. We got a lot of great hoopers. I think that they are going to be able to gel together because they've played so much together before in the past. Team Gideon on the board first. Jesser, a reach and foul early on. That's going to be a tough matchup for him. That's right, but Jesser is used to the big stage. Like I said, he's been to a number of NBA games, competed in the Celebrity All-Star Weekend game. I was going for him for MVP, but they didn't give my boy the minutes. It's because he's too unselfish of a player to go for that MVP trophy on such a big stage. Duke versus Friga, intriguing matchup right here. What's it gonna be, Duke? Crossover, pull up, mid-range. Rebound called in by Jitty, number 33, channeling that Patrick Ewing energy. Now, everybody at home, remember to vote for the power play to see which team is going to get that. Get double points for a full minute. Oh, a hesitation way. and a converted layup. YPK has all three points for Team Gideon as self. Takes it the other way. Ball Great strip. strip. Jesser comes up with it. I mean, you got to love active hands from Cam Wilder. He does what it takes to win. Dude, it's a great start right now for Team Gideon. And they have a prolific bench, too. DeAdrian Harding, I believe, will be the sixth man. I saw him in warm-ups. He was really throwing down something crazy like I've never seen before. YP, hesitation on Mark. Pull up in his grill, off the mark. Rebound hauled in by Harding. Sell, going the other way. Now, my only critique right now is that Frieger has yet to touch the ball. That's tough, but right now they don't need him as Chris London looks to make his first substitution of the game. Three-point up by Cam Kennedy. In and out, rebound corralled by Duke. That's great hustle by Duke, but a poor box out by Frieger. You're better than that, my boy. You're Harden, better than that. Harden, pivot, layup, Woo! switch. Peyton Harden out of retirement. He still got it. Deuce, what do you make of this dynamic duo out of Texas? Oh, Frieger. 
Oh, now, Frigga, make sure you get your foot on the circle next time. Kennedy, he's a big man, but it looks like he has some guard skills. Kick out to sell. 3-2 Team Gideon, eight minutes remaining in the first quarter here at the Creator League Showdown. Oh, ooh. unconventional, righty hook shot, rebound, Duke over Jesser. Frigo with the board. Deuce, you said he has to be more aggressive. I think I, 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 that's what I'm looking for. I think that in order for Team Gideon to win, he might need to be their leading scorer. But then again, maybe there's a hero out there. YPK simply too fast for the opposition. Look like good verticality. How are they going to stop YPK? I mean, it's tough. He's a mismatch for anyone who's guarding him. There's no one really out there who can match his speed. And maybe the one person who can is on his team, so. Adrian? Yeah. It's looking like mass substitutions right here. We got Ippy, MMG, and Davis. YPK in and out at the line. Those are going to be critical misses. And the subs are coming in. They're clearing the benches. Let's see what the second unit has to offer. Is this too early for mass substitutions? No, I wouldn't say so. It's a long game. I mean, we're playing four 12-minute quarters. That's 48 minutes and uh, running up and down this very big court. So it's going to be tough. MMG is in the ball game. Duke, Mark, and Peyton take a seat for Team Phillips. One shot. There it is. YPK. The leading scorer for Team Gideon with four points right now, but the benches have been cleared. Let's see what these second units have to offer. A defensive struggle thus far, but that can change in just a second with the power play, which oh, is coming absolutely. soon. So, looking to navigate this defense. MMG, will he play his role or go for glory? You know he's a role player. That's he's a gonna do what it takes to win. He's not gonna be too flashy. Mostly because he's not capable. Davis, his AMP brothers in Celebrity Row. We got Kai, we got Phantom. Davis to the Baja. Ooh, he is right. fouled by Frosty. Hey, I like that take. I like that take. Power play. The power play is going to Team Jitty in the fans at home has voted. Team Jitty on with the power play. Double points for the next minute after these free throws. After this free throw, the 60-second power play will be activated for Team Gideon as Davis cannot connect, which means everything for the next 60 seconds will be double points, including the four-point bomb. Wow, we need to see one of those. Off the mark on both for Davis, but he gets his own rebound. Power play, power play. MMG, he's done that in Tyreek Hill. Oh, he almost hey. got rim. MMG. I could promise you he was an intramural guard in college. And a kicking specialist. Never doubt a kicker's skill set. Cam Wilder, that's who you want the ball with yeah. double points. Ooh. And a rip by Sal going the other way. If he in transition, the alley oop. Oh! oh! The fans wanted to see if it. If he almost made me cry. Deuce, 30 seconds remaining on this power play. DeAdrian, he can sky. Oh my I God, like a that. little dosey do. -si -do. I like that a lot. Through the lane and flex on minute. him. A four point layup. Team Gideon leads eight to four. Sal. Been quiet so far. 20 seconds left on the power play. What a take by Sal. Gets the friendly roll. About 10 seconds left on this power play. Team Mark trails six to eight. Wilder. You know that's well within his range, Deuce. No, no, oh! no! A six-point field goal for Cam Wilder. 14 to six, Gideon. And with that, that the power play is done. Wait to utilize that power play, Deuce. Wow, yeah, that was. Very, very heady play by Cam Wilder there. The wild boy strikes again. Deuce, that was 10 points in just 60 seconds. That's what can happen with that power play. Absolutely. Fans at home, if you want Team Mark to have a shot in this, we're going to need to see some representation. Sell. The righty layup. Again. He's a lefty. Doesn't matter. Ooh, he comes up hobbling on that one, but I think he's okay. He's a warrior. 14 to 18. Gideon leads as Phillips and Duke look to check back into the game. Oh, Davis with some lock-up D at half court. You love to see that. Oh, a lot of contact, a lot of physicality. Wow. He's getting crazy out here, the hostility. More subs, more subs. Hold on, dudes, these coaches are working. London uh, oh. came with a game plan. I mean, they didn't come here to just to look good. They came here to coach. And you know what I'm really liking is that the Adrian Harding six-man move. Oh, for sure. He's a spark plug off the bench, kind of like JR, Lou Williams, Jamal Crawford, all the greats. He impressed me with that first move. Jesser on the inbounds pass. And an crazy attempt. And MMG the with the steal. He's going the other way. Kick out. Ippy for three. 
Off the rim, Duke Dennis, oh, the block oh, is in the building. Oh. 14 to 10, Team Gideon Duke is a physical specimen. I mean, we, we can expect a lot of that today from Duke. He's going to be cleaning up the garbage and getting a lot of those points. Athleticism kills in this matchup. The Adrian fouled on a three-point shot. Oh, two. Yeah. Foot on the line. Oh, a foot on the line. My mistake. That is a crucial difference right there. Adrian is going to the line where Team Gideon has struggled so far. Free throws are tough. All eyes on you. Gets real quiet. Everyone's going to be embarrassed if you miss. Davis is hacking and whacking the critical acclaim. Bang. 15 to 10, Team Gideon leads. One for one for Harding at the line. Ooh, off the mark. Ippy going the other way. Mark Phillips said he was a certified bona fide threat. Oh my God, a oh soar through the lane. Oh Ippy. Oh my goodness, looking like a young me out there. Harding. No time for games, no rest for the wicked. In and out, tween, tween, behind the back. He's got Davis on an island, dude. He's looking to capitalize. Oh, and a critical three-second call on Gideon. Mental mistakes will hurt you in this game. See the mental mistakes right like that? That's going to haunt you come fourth quarter. They were pretty generous with that. That could have been yeah. six to ten seconds. They could have called it twice. Look, no timeouts have been called so far. A minute, 30 remaining in the first quarter. We've got a good one as Gideon smacks the floor like a pasty prince from Duke. Ippy, kick out, MMG, jab, Pace to the lane. Oh, he smoked the layup. You hate to see it. Ippy steals the ball. Ippy stole the ball. And a... We saw it. We saw it. We saw the push off there. It's all good. Wow. Incredible hustle play by Jesser. That is the two hype difference. One minute remaining. Remember, we are doing running clock until the last two minutes of the fourth quarter. Team Gideon looking to extend their lead right here, right now. And Team Mark is looking to lock up and get back into this game. Not that they're not in it. You know what I mean. Tie it up. Screen and roll with Gideon. Be surprised if he rolled or popped. Ooh. Active feet parting. Oh, my oh. God. Loses him with the moves, but cannot connect. MMG soars. Loose ball, corralled by Jesser. Oh, Looking for oh. the contact, can't convert the layup, and he will be headed to the line. And best believe he practices those. Now that's a tough take. He went chest to chest with the defender there and nearly got the and one. Yeah, Mark Phillips guarding Jesser. I never thought I'd see the day. And for everyone here and at home, make sure you go to houseofhighlights.shop for more DreamCon merch. Brody got a t-shirt on right now, and it's real nice. If you want to be trippy like this cornball, let's get it. And that about does it for the first quarter, dude. 16 to 12, Team Gideon leads. Jester still has one more free throw. He could make it 17. Deuce, it looks like the refs are making more calls for Team White. What we say? Listen, yeah, I, everyone at home, there was a make, critical mistake make made. Make the correction, make the correction. We said Duke was 6 1. That was foolish. He's 6 2. <laughs> Easily. If not more, if not more. <laughs> Quick correction, we had, it had to be said. It had to be said. Deuce, let's listen into these team huddles. London actually has a great presence in the huddle. All right, coming out of the time, oh, not the timeout. Coming into the second quarter, Team Gideon up five on Team Mark. It's anybody's game. Everyone is just a power play away. Is Gideon the Ben Wallace right now? You want to get him involved early on and take him out? Yeah, I'm, yeah, maybe, but I think he could surprise us today. Duke! Oh, dude. Duke. Wow, he got the one more inch Come and on. it paid dividends. He's how not 6'1. He is 6'2. How dare you? He that showed you how tall he was. YPK making an early case for MVP, but he's been quiet. Where's Riga been, Deuce? Right now. Oh, he's over. Up oh. for YPK. Ooh. It's only a matter of time, and Deuce. 
A kick out to MMG. Gets the pumping, what a swat! Blocked by Ray! Deuce, that is the second time that MMG has been baptized by YPK. First and slam ball here on the hardwood. That is unbelievable. I swear he was in the air for five seconds. Phillips on Gideon, captain on captain. Look for the contact, he asked for the foul call, and now he's getting an excellent politicking by Mark Phillips. I mean, that's pretty good defense by Gideon, all things considered, but yes, definitely a foul. Wow, sending Mark Phillips to the line. Welcome to DreamCon, where dreams are made. Phillips, one shot, he rushed that one, doesn't matter. Cuts the deficit to two. Who would you compare Mark's game to? Armani Brooks, sniper. Uh oh, Friga getting active. Out to Cam Wilder. He wants the four well within his range. Cam! I am a four point play! I mean, if we're talking MVPs, Cam is up there too right now. Wow, that was a big bucket. Mark, Mark, a response. Oh. Just short, but a rebound, MMG. Oh. Can't come up with the layup. Fouled by Ray. That might get Ray into foul trouble. London That's... looking for the timeout. Timeout call on the play. As MMG heads to the line, he doesn't want Team Mark to gain momentum. Team Gideon with the timeout. Let's take a listen. You stand and peace stand. You are, yeah, you are. You've been like It's already looking easy. I want it to look easier. Let's go, baby. Win all three. Come on now. One, two, three. Yeah. Win, win. Back in action. MMG headed to the line for two. I would bet my life this man had a basketball hoop in his driveway growing up. 100%, I mean, I think that's a given. But he missed two layups here today, and I wish, and I think he wishes he could have them both back, but let's see if he can get some points here at the free throw line. He smoked one, one was a foul. Still, Still two missed layups. Made. For a brother of this magnitude, this prolific, and the Colby's? MMG. Ooh, just short. Cannot convert, he has one more attempt left, team mark. Trails Team Gideon by six. That Cam Wilder four-point play is proving pivotal. Mark commiserating with Celebrity Ralph. Oh, MMG oh. dropped his shot in the All-Star game. You got to respect the effort there. I mean, down six, maybe you don't respect the effort. You got to take points, but kids got moxie. Yeah, and that is going to be an instant substitution for Armani Brooks. He did not like that whatsoever oh, from MG. Marcellus back in the game. Can he be the spark plug? Aliou Friga! Trying to get Friga involved now. I like that pass from Cam. Just broken up by better defense. Rebound by Duke. He knows one speed. Kick out to Kennedy. Can't Just wow. off the mark. Good hustle. Good pass. Duke looking for the foul. Nothing made to Cam. Cam, I am! He's done nothing but improve drastically day after day after day. Every time we see him, he's a little bit better. So you know he's putting the work in. Yes, I will say, the foul call, are, the balance is a little out of whack right now. Oh, we got good defense versus better defense. That's and, just how it goes sometimes. And he converts. Well, dude, Team Mark is going to need a power play to get back in this. 100%. Fans back at home better start voting for Team Mark because they need it desperately. And they're looking for the mismatch. No screen. Cam Wilder is there to help, which means Harden should be open to, to the lane. Fade away. That's pretty, Deuce. That is a beautiful, beautiful move. I told you, military precision. Plays no games. Jesser on the Luka Doncic workout plan. Spinning, pumping, Ooh. the work, smoke oh. the layup, rebound by Duke, he's going the other way. You gotta love that move. Million dollar move and a one cent finish. AMP to AMP, back to AMP. What in the world? A bailout foul call. Davis, one of the greats, is headed to the line. Oh, that was a foul. That was certainly a foul because if it wasn't, he would have made the layup. Davis is drawing a lot of contact here. I mean, he's active. That's what you got to do. When you're coming off the bench, you just got to make impact. Impact plays. No one was out here practicing their free throws, and it shows. 
Jidian checks out the game. I got to say, great minutes from him. Yeah, Jidian's out there working. You know what I mean? Doing what he can to help the team win. Oh, a little psych out to Davis at the line. Team Mark Trail 17 to 25, 7.15 remaining in the second quarter. Nothing but net for Davis. Yes, they needed that one. Cuts Just over seven minutes to go. Custody deficit to seven, Frigo. I believe he's scoreless right now, but he can get hot at any time. Not for long, Luke. Frigo, guarded by Kennedy, looking for the switch. Got another big body in his way, asking for the clear out. You know he wants four. Driving to the lane, layup finesse is good. A pretty play from Frigo. Yeah, that's what we expect to see from him. We need the players on Team Mark to start making some plays as well. And dude, Davis is out here getting superstar calls. Well, for a superstar player. Kind fan of my loving it in Celebrity Row. Fresh off their trip to Japan, actually. Really? Harden. Oh, oh. this is the ball. Maybe he is a little rusty, Frigo. For Hold three. Up. Rebound, Frigga again, do not give him two resets. Wilder, well within his range. Ooh. A rare miss. That's still a three, though. Sell. That's deep. To Duke. Hey. What connection on the break. Sell to Duke. Showtime in Austin, Texas. Who would have thought? Wilder, bouncing right back. Oh, Duke's sword. A foul on the play. You got one right now. Wilder to the line. He's scored in flurries right now. He's been coaching AAU teams around the nation. It's clearly paying dividends. Cam, I believe, is the leading scorer in today's matchup as Mark, Hippie, and MMG come back into the game. 28 to 20. Team Gideon leads 5-22 remaining in the second quarter. Wilder, another one. Okay, okay, okay. The votes are in. A power play for Team Mark. The next minute, they got double points. Sal puts it's the, time to make up some ground. Sal puts the pedal to the metal, looking for a four-point layup. Ooh. Foul on the play, a head-to-head -head collision. That looked painful. And does the power play stop in this situation? It looks like it has. It looked like it will, yes. You see on the replay, that is a head-to-head -head collision. We pray that Sal is okay. He's already up, bouncing around. He's fine. He's a warrior. Was that a shooting foul or on the floor? Looks like it was on the floor. Looked like he was on his way up. Kennedy to inbound the ball. Does Coach Brooks have a play design for here? MMG, Baja. All right, the power play is back on. 47 seconds left. A sad mark. Defensive steal from Friga. Finishes on the left side with the right hand. A reverse power play in their own right. Kennedy. A reaching foul on Devontae. 31 seconds. Matter of fact, they just upped it to 33 seconds. They need to capitalize on this power play. As you see, Frieda gliding, winning to the Baja. MMG, big body, hop step. Ooh. Wow. And he's going to the line. I believe that stops the power play once more. Yes. He's, he's playing a very aggressive game right now. And each shot right here will be two points. This could be a four-point trip right here. The easiest four of your life. And let's remind everybody at home that these free throws are worth two points each because it still is the power play. MMG. Ooh, yes, got sir. to go. That is a big two-point free throw. One more of those, and they cut the deficit back to seven. MMGZ. Did not opt for the off the backboard. A four point trip to the line. Just under 30 seconds remaining in their power play. Frigo. Sized up by Kennedy. Wilder. If he tries staying in front of him, a little too much contact. I believe that was on the ground. Still 18 seconds left on the power play for Team Mark. Will Team Gideon? Dribble it out, we shall see. Could be a savvy strategy, or not. For three, cannot connect. Team Mark power play. A lot long, ooh, 15 seconds on the power play. Ippy, a six point triple. Oh my God, what a board by MMG. And a foul on the play, Deuce. 
MMG, he's playing with authority right now. He could sky, who knew? Matter of fact, I should've known. He is a showdown winner. You saw his rebound knockout. prowess in knockout. That's probably one of the main reasons why he did win. He wasn't hitting everything, but his rebounding was on parallel. Yeah, his motor. There's no stopping that man. Nine seconds left in the half. Oh, a miscommunication saved by Cell. And YPK on the break. What's he gonna do here? YPK oh. blocked by MB! But a foul Give me on that. The play. Oh Looked my like god. MB hit him with the chase down, but a foul was called. He got him with the body, maybe. A foul? According to the refs, it was. The fans are not pleased. Hey, tell me what's the last play, man. Play too, but three minutes on a power play is crazy. 31 20, 14, Gideon with YPK at the line. Ooh. He's a 50% free throw shooter right now. Hey man, these missed free throws are gonna come back to bite them in the ass come the end of the game. So we gotta start hitting those fellas. Making a wild prediction that Gideon will hit one four point play by the end of the game. I believe it. He's been working on it. We saw him yesterday, he was in the lab. And Team Mark still has three seconds on that power play if they chuck it up from this four-point play right here. Rebound, Kennedy. Three seconds remaining. He's going to let the power play die down. Shoot it! But he's shooting for three anyway. Oh. That would not have counted regardless. Good board by Gideon. And a jump ball is called. Possession arrow goes to Gideon. Hey, listen, man. Gideon is making all the, the winning plays. He's getting boards. He's playing defense. And hopefully he can get some buckets soon. YPK, high usage rate, the offense runs through him. That's what Chris London told us would be the case. Guarded by Mark. Two speed demons. Another there it is. One. Oh. A good tip by Davis. Davis Talk about winning plays. Pass ahead to Kennedy. A little out of control to Phillips. Back to Kennedy. Did not connect on the two-pointer, but two is ferocious on the boards. He will not be denied. A five-point game right here. Shot and game clock are almost identical. YPK, pick your poison right here. Guarded by Marcellus Howard. Goes left, kick out Jesse. Jesse Colin to the middle. Ooh. Stolen by Howard. Loose ball on the play. Davis comes up with it. Do What a way to end the half. AMP to AMP connection. That is just the momentum they needed. What a matchup so far. Duke Dennis, he is sore. Wow. I doubt he even plays basketball that much. He's just a natural athlete. Absolutely. You saw the elevation on that one. It's a three-point game going into halftime. Team Gideon up 31 to 28. I cannot wait to see this second half. I do. Team Gideon got off to the big lead. How was Team Mark able to crawl back into this? Well, I think the power plays are, have been pivotal. That four-point free throw trip for MMG, big time. That was able to eat into the lead a little bit. I think team, uh, in the first quarter, Team Gideon came out firing. They came out hungry. Team Mark in, in the second quarter made adjustments, got some garbage points from Duke. And uh, those are the type of plays that we need for them to come out victorious in the end. If you had to pick an MVP from either side, who would it be? Uh, I'll give you one from each squad. I'm going to say from Team Gideon, I'm going to go Cam Wilder. He's been making some big shots. He's a big reason why they're up right now. And uh, from Team Mark, I'm going to have to go Duke. I think, those, I think that those uh, rebounds and those putbacks have been great. Also, I got to say MMG with those, with those rebounds and trips to the free throw line. I mean, he's keeping them in it. I mean, it's interesting. They don't look anything alike, but MMG and Duke Dennis randomly play a similar game. I mean, for real. YPK soaring to the rim, DeAdrian Harding, always so silky, unforgettable. Yeah, a great move. The Wilder, that's what he does best. And MMG with the toughness, that was a big time block by YPK Ray. Cam Wilder just so majestic with the FIFA haircut. Just a beautiful player to watch. I mean, it was really, really something special to see that four point play. And I gotta remind everyone at home and the players here, players must have a foot on the blue circle in order for it to work and for, for it to count as four points. And dude, DeAdrian Harding, incredible sixth man of the year candidate right now. You got bounce, you got game, MMG. He's unstoppable right now as DeAdrian is scouting hey. the competition as he knows best. Sell, DeAdrian, how to feel out there? 
Man, you know what I'm saying? I could have did a whole lot more, but my team won't pass me the ball. So it's all good, man. I'm about to go out there and do my Dougie. Give me a second. All right, let's he, see. It. He has been very efficient with few chances. As a sixth man of the year, you got to accept your role. That's right, that's right. And we can always count on DeAndre to give us the real, raw truth. May rub his teammates the wrong way, but we're all just trying to win here. Dudes, we have a secret halftime show coming up. I cannot reveal the details just yet. I don't even know about it. But best believe it's something special. Ah. Well, now, oh, they're bringing out the rack. That always means now, something good. Is there anyone you want to see something more from in the second half? Well, I mean, on Team Gideon, I know that Friga is not happy with his first half performance. I think that he knows that he can put in a lot more work, a lot more buckets. And also on uh, Team Mark, I'm going to have to say Mark. I know Mark holds himself to a very high standard. And while he has been playing well, he needs to get some points on the board. That's what the fans came here to see. I believe he's talking to his family right now. Hopefully he gets some advice to turn things around for the second half. As London, DeAdrian, commiserate, maybe they give him a starting nod. Oh. All right, and we forget, don't forget that tomorrow at DreamCon, we are running back dodgeball. RDC is two-time champions, and tomorrow they're going against some bros at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You don't want to miss it. We'll be back. Dudes, we have a special, special halftime show. We got Kai and Your Rage. Kai will be shooting a three-pointer. Your Rage will be shooting from half court. Whoever hits it first will win. We get started here momentarily. Once again, if you did not hear that, Kai needs to hit a three-pointer before Your Rage hits a half court shot. Who do y'all got? Spam the chat right now. This is as close as it could possibly be. I mean, this is gonna be tough. Kai, fresh off a trip. To well, you Japan. Know what? I thought he was never leaving, but he's apparently back in the building. I'm going to tell you right now, it might be a little disrespectful that he got the, the crutch like that. I, I think that he should be both pulling from half court. Kai's going to take this as disrespect. Hopefully he takes it personally. Young Phantom, Dominican Glizzy Gladiator in the building. <laughs> Hopefully That's his right, New York City stand up. Deuce, who do you got? Kai or Rage? This? Yeah. I'm going to take Kai. All he has to do is hit a three. Half court is pretty tough. A three? I mean, Kai, he could... He could shoot a little bit. They are wearing the same exact pants. What gives? I don't know who wore best. Ladies and gentlemen, vote in the chat. It's tough. Those are both pretty elite outfits. I mean, they look a lot better than we do. All right, to remind everybody here right now, Kai Sinat is going to shoot from three. Your age is going to shoot from half court. We are going to see who hits it first. Y'all let us know who you, I think, is going to hit it first. I got Kai. If you think Kai is going to hit the three before your rage, make some noise! Ooh, I don't know about that one. I don't know. If you think your rage is going to hit that half court shot before Kai, make some noise! Oh my God, Ooh. the disrespect to Kai. All he got to do is hit now, college three. Now I'm really pulling for Kai. No disrespect, your rage. Whenever y'all ready. Yeah, I, I would say go, go when you're ready. Let's get it in five, four, three, two, one, they are off. Kai airballs the first, your rage. First time the charm, oh my God, he almost hit that. Kai. Ooh, both players have almost hit it so far. What a halftime show we got here. Ooh, your Ooh. rage, definitely a hoop reduce. Kai, another one. He's getting closer and closer. Rage from distance. Oh! It don't matter. It don't matter. Wow. I told y'all, don't sleep on Kai. Oh, let's see. He wants to pull it from half. Performance. Hey. Just off the mark. And only here at the Grand League, you get two stars. It's like LeBron and Jordan coming in at halftime for no reason. Kai that. Who knew? Did he call Bang? Once again. It doesn't matter. All right, all right. We still got a whole second half to play. Two 12-minute quarters of running time. It's a three-point game. Team Mark is trailing Team Gideon. But it's anybody's game. The power play is still at play. 
the four point circles still at play. Second half action coming soon. Who has the coaching advantage thus far? I know London has the outfit, but does he have the X's and O's too? I mean, I had the pleasure and the privilege to be uh, invited into the huddle for uh, Coach London's speech. And I got to tell you, he was really lighting the fire under them, and I think that he's going to have them ready and sharp in the second half. Listen, this is exactly how we wanted it to go. 31 to 28. It's still anyone's game, and I believe Team Phillips can step it up a bit from the first half. Absolutely. Deuce, what are you expecting from the second half here? Both teams fairly equal so far. Who has the edge? Well, like I said, I think that uh, Team Gideon really like came out firing in the first quarter, but in uh, quarter number two, Team Mark really made a name for themselves and they really set the tone. So going into the second half, it's anybody's game, but right now, if we're riding momentum, I got Team Mark. If you're London, do you start DeAdrian in the second half, or do you keep things as they were? Well, I mean, they're up three right now, so clearly something worked. I would say you stick with uh, what you got if it ain't broke, right? And as far as the Peyton Harden, Cam Kennedy, do you expect them to step it up in the second half? I believe if they're to win this, they need to have big performances. Yeah, I think Cam Kennedy is uh, due for a Klay Thompson-esque third quarter. He can get hot from three in a hurry, and uh, I'm looking forward to seeing that. It looks like the same lineups that started the game are back out there. Second half of Creator League House of Highlights Basketball Showdown starts right now. And remember, tell us in the chat who's your MVP right now. Cam Wilder and Duke Dennis are really going back and forth. Here we go. Phillips transitioning to the point guard position. He wants to have his impact felt early and often. Sizing up Gideon. This is captain on captain. Oh, a blow by oh. Phillips. Hey! Right up his pass. That's right. That is right. Mark knew that it was time for him to take over, and he's doing just that in the second half. Oh, that's a hell of a way to start. Well, what scared me is that Friga hasn't activated yet. Oh, Sell. Heady defensive play. Gideon in the oh! post, dog! Gideon in the post, dog! Come on, son! Are you kidding me? Make a wish moment of the day. Sell gets it right back in the action. Is picking up in a big way. Wow, 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 wow. This is the action we're looking for in the Creator League at DreamCon 2023. I'm still shell-shocked by that Gideon offensive move. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty nice. Pump, Friga, he's liable to get hot. He does this, Friga for three. Ooh. A foul on the play. Good sportsmanship from both competitors. Peyton Harden, number 10, push. Is he shooting three? Uh, looks that way. No room to land, so Friga to the line as sixth man of the year. DeAdrian was looking to get in the game. Coach London says not just yet. We may have an Obi Toppin, Tom Thibodeau situation happening with DeAdrian and Chris London here. Duke, Mark, strategizing. Friga at the line. One of the most dominant YouTube hoopers we have ever seen. A Creative League champion. Here we go. Ooh, one shot. Clutch from Friga. That is how you get it done at the charity start. Marcellus so far doing a little scoring, a little facilitating. 36, 32, Duke from long range. Oh, ah. had a cutting Duke Dennis. I saw the vision. But a turnover. I saw the vision though, because if you would have got that, it would have been a straight, straight beam to the cut. Looks like they're going a little offense, defense, prankster for prankster. Gideon in. Matter of fact, Gideon out. DeAdrian in. Cam, you cannot give him that space. Oh, a big offensive rebound by Devontae Friga. Back out to Cam. Cam versus Duke. Cam drives left. A foul on the play, almost gets the roll, but he'll be headed to the line. Cam is really stepping up his game in every single aspect. For real, for real. You gotta love it, man. He split the defense on that, and he was able to go up on the left side. Couldn't, couldn't finish, but drew the foul. You yeah, gotta love it. A little hang time goes to the left. Can't finish, but he is headed to the line. Four-point game, Team Gideon still up. Now, Deuce, if Frost or Bentley can come in the game and hit a three, that would be massive. Yes, we need that. We need that. Wilder, one for one. The foul disparity right now is a little out of whack, but Team Black hacking and whacking. 
And listen, got to play honest defense. Referees know what they're doing. Don't worry, the power play is coming soon. Y'all vote in the chat. And wow, Cam Wilder has 15 out of the 38 points for Team Gideon, making a case for MVP. Selly to Kennedy. Back to Sell. They're running an oh. actual set here. That was gorgeous. Oh, just off the mark. He's been so close. I cannot wow. believe they really ran that. That was insane. Triangle offense? Uh-oh. Jesser oh. to the Baja. Blocked by Phillips. And you got to be careful. It could be a technical. Not in his house, though. Let's check it out. Deuce, do you, do you see a foul on this play? Ah, that's tough. That's a tough call to make. That's why I'm not, I don't have the black and white shirt on. It's a tough call against Mark Phillips. But that was great deep by Mark, I got to say. Foul or not, good defense. Stopping a wide open layup. Sending Jester to the line where he misses the first, no matter what, a good foul. It be MMG and Davis. A great trio off the bench. I believe Team Black does have the edge off the bench. That's right. And Celebrity Row is telling us that the ball does not lie in that. Is a true fact. Dudes, these two are clearly a package duo as they head out the game. We got a whole lot of ball to go. Jester at the line looking to extend the team. Gideon lead to seven, and he does just that. Let's go. Sell with the rock. Headed the other way. Sell, you gotta say, Sell really looks comfortable at that point guard position. He was a college point guard after all. Deuce, they're actually trying to break that zone. And Jesser, good D, out to YPK. Little hesitation, just too strong off the glass. And Duke, back in the other direction. Oh, great defense by Jesser. Kick out the free go. Slows it down, pulls it back out. No, no, no! That is a big time three by Je that was a big time three by Devontae Friga. I got, I have to remind the players one more time. You need a foot on the blue circle for it to count for four points. That was a three point foul. Apparently, Mark has two fouls on the day. Two fouls. They lose. What's that four or three? That was a three pointer. It's a 10 point deficit right now, but they have overcome this before. Anything, anything is possible with the power play that is coming in 30 seconds. Which team will get it? Team Mark needs it. We shall see. Right, if team Gideon gets the power play right here. That could be all she wrote. I mean, oh, for real though. Davis Rondo. Oh, Davis. He's got handles. Oh. Ippy to sell. Back to Ippy. Gideon hacking, whacking. Oh, and no continuation on the play. They're playing like it's a real NBA game out there. I don't know, dudes. That's a tough call for Team Phillips. As Mark looks in bewilderment. Chris London has no comment on that one. <laughs> Wow. You All think, right. You think Chris wishes he was out there? But absolutely not. Whoa! A charge on Ippy. And Deuce, just like that, Team Gideon has activated their power play. 60 seconds for double points. And Deuce, this could be a massive, massive move. Wow, Team Gideon, 54 seconds, double points. And they are already up 10. This could be devastating for Team Mark. But no urgency on the floor right now. Do they know that this is a power play? Doubled on the floor. Oh, a glow shot to pass. And Davis is just too slow. A push out of bounds. The referee sees it. Team Phillips is up in arms about these calls. But I believe they're correct. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no one has ever thought they've committed a foul. 30 seconds All left. Right, 30 in the seconds. Jitty, and you already know what he's doing. Go to that four point. There and it let is. Let it fly, young man. Ooh. Laugh my ass off. Just they're not capitalizing on this power play. No, MMG can not run at all. The clock here. I don't know if they understand the power of the power play. Duke, Baja, Rack attack. Hey. 
bucket is good. Eight seconds for me. A little fillet, a little finesse. Love to see that. Five, three, parting for an eight-point bomb, and the power play is over. Wow, what an effort on the rebound. Foul on the play. Eight-point lead for Gideon. Oh, pretty smart for him to go up like that. That could have been a couple points if he made it. That's big guys. Beamer Benzer Bentley at the line for Team Gideon. Ooh, nothing but net. That's pretty. 418 remaining in the third quarter. We still got 16 minutes of action. And Duke Dennis is in foul trouble. Sources tell me. Sources tell me he's in foul trouble. MMG, what's it gonna be? His team needs a hero. It be. It's a big body rack attack. Can't get the and one, but he's headed to the line for two. It be single-handedly trying to will his team back into this game. But Team Mark looks focused as a Team Gideon. And they're bringing in the aces right now. Kennedy, Harden, and Davis. But on the other side, London has matched that firepower. Look at this threesome right here. YPK, Cam, and Jess are off the bench. It's a coach's dream. I mean, he Coach London came through with the black suit and the black shades. It was the funeral. Are those Versace? Speaking of Versace, DreamCon merch is available at houseofhighlights.shop. I'm currently wearing one of these right now. Incredible material, incredible design. Houseofhighlights.shop to cop your own. Cheap prices, premium product, just like Bar Rescue. <laughs> Amen, brother. It be at the line. The first one went in and out. This is critical. Every point from here on out is crucial. Yeah, at this point, time is ticking away. If he gets the friendly bounce, they trail by eight. And Brooks is switching to the 2-3 zone right here against Cam Wilder. Is that savvy? I don't know about that. Jesser attacks the lane to a wide open Harding who, set, who hesitates and brings it back out. A little reset. Harding tween. Still on by Ippy. Going the other way. Looking to make things happen. And a foul on the play. Ippy is getting beat down. I mean, perspiration. Motivation. Condensation. <laughs> Devontae Friga is also in big time foul trouble. Wow. Friga has five fouls. Duke Dennis also has five fouls. You guys only get six. They're both going to have to play very carefully from here on out. Iffy, that's in his range. That's a tough. Oh, Kenny. Kenny, Kenny. Big boy rebound Kenny. Kenny. again. Dude, it's a big board. This team. Do you think that Team Gideon has enough basketball IQ to adjust to the 2-3 zone? This is a good move by Brooks. Uh, I think it might be. It's going to definitely cause some uh, chaos in their offense, but they should be able to figure it out. That's, uh, that's Coach London's job. Wilder to Jesser looking to break through that zone. YPK from four. No, no, no. Deuce every time that Team Mark makes a move, Team Gideon bounces back. This is unbelievable. I cannot believe what I'm watching. YP, what a four-point play and hard and all the unlucky bounce. Things are just not going their way. One minute, 10 seconds remaining. Team Gideon leads by 10. Wilder gets separation, pulls up. That would have been a backbreaker. Stolen by Ray. Oh my God. Ray is everywhere on the court. Just under a minute to go in the third quarter. 10 point game. Oh, he went for the heat check. Good D by Mark Gideon. If he's wide open, he can hit those. Oh. Ooh. Someone got a rebound. Hallity, no call. Gideon gets the board. He's going for it again. Gideon! Oh! Gideon for three. Oh my God. He is providing way more offense than anyone could have expected. That is huge for his squad. Yeah, I believe that's five points, which is about four more than I thought he would get. He had an incredible, powerful post play, hitting from beyond the arc. Mark Cuban signed this man immediately. What you waiting for? Deuce a 13 point lead for Team Gideon as Ippy kicks up his dribble. Kennedy to Harden with the left. That is good. Critical I mean, bucket. They just got to hang around. Seven seconds to go. Five, four, Ray. three, That is not two, a perfect goal. Squad. Oh, Reggie. Maybe that's the momentum they needed. 
I mean, Team Mark really just needs to hang around. It's an 11-point game. Anything's possible with the power play. One minute quarter break. Let's go inside the huddle. See what these teams are thinking. Phillips needs y'all more than ever as they face an 11 point deficit going into the fourth quarter. It's going to be a tall task, but if anyone can get it done, it's them. Will the comeback be imminent or will Team Gideon extend their lead in domination thus far? Gideon and Ray, screen and roll, good defense by Cam. It just looks every bounce is going to Team Gideon. Yeah, no, it's looking bleak for Team Mark right now. But this is a long game. And remember, at the end of this quarter, they do stop the clock after two minutes. Wow, their inbound pass to Gideon. Out of bounds, a crucial turnover. Excellent start for Team Mark. Let's see. The court is not wide enough for Gideon. What they can make happen. Ify with the Rock, please vote in the power play poll. It could make all the difference to your favorite creator. Going home with the hardware or not. Davis, hesitation, rack attack. He is fouled. He's going to the line. Davis, aggressive so far. Shooting two with the charity strike. Davis, that's big, 10-point deficit right now. 10.50 remaining in the fourth. Gideon comes out the game, an electric performance. Unbelievable. By DeMarcus Cousins. Give it up to Gideon, what a performance. He's living up to that boogie nickname right now. Oh, oh rebound, oh, Davis! Down. Kick out Ippy. Ippy for three. They need that, they Ippie. need that. Oh. Rebound, Kennedy! Let's go! One board, one to start. Winning play! That's big, that's, that's big. That's what we need to see. That's just the start they needed, but every time that Mark comes close, Team Gideon has an answer. MMG Harding. Ooh, what a move. He said he wanted more chances, can't get it done. They've got numbers, Zeus. Wow, Celebrity Row is going insane. Rooting for Team Mark. With the oh. left, no good, but Ippy with the follow-up Celebrity Row. Shoot away. Six points, six points. They get the double. That's one three. And the atmosphere has officially heated up. The crowd is going crazy for okay. T. Phillips. Yeah. YP, yeah. rack attack, pull up. No good. A jump ball, jump and I ball. believe that is going to Team Black this time. Team Phillips with possession. What a lineup that Coach Brooks put out there. Yeah, something special. Here we go, Ippy bringing it down. Ippy, he's been a man possessed so far. Right to the rack. No foul called on the play. A strip, and Jesser is taking it down the other way. Hippie, defensive intensity. Jesser looking to draw the foul to Wilder. That is a backbreaker. No chance, but a solid pass. Harding, wide open, top of the key. Can't connect. Kennedy holds on the board. Big rebound. Can they chip away into this? Davis? Davis for four! Oh! And a foul! And a foul! A foul is called on the play. Davis was shooting four. He goes to the line. He can make this a two-point game. Oh, my God. But just keep in mind, the clock is running. Let's see this replay right here. Did he get touched? Wow. Yeah, he did. Yeah, That's I would say. call. That is four free throws for Davis. He really could make this a two-point game. Oh, he rushed that one. Do you rush this because it's a running clock or no? I mean, yeah, maybe, but you also want to take your time. You need points on the board. 
You can't, you can't uh, miss these gimmies. Free, Frieger and Duke on the bench right now, both with 5,002. Big time missed free throws. Ooh, one shot. Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Sorry. One more, one more. Four point play. Four he point. was fouled on the four point play. He's missed the first three, but god damn it. I'll be damned if he doesn't make well, the four. He, he, needs, he needs this last one. This could be the, this could be the critical turning point right here. Could, one shot. Oh no, not what you want to see. <laughs> oh, for four from Davis. That's gonna get an instant sub. Wilder, rack attack, no help. Gets his own board. Harding soars for the rebound himself. Loose ball, Davis comes up with it. Iffy says, calm down, chill, yeah, yo. I got oh, they this. do have numbers if they hurry. Iffy, big body, kick out Davis. I'm going hack of Davis right now if I'm them. Oh, they're paying hard, and that's, that's the midi. Loose the lights, it's the big lights. Oh, on the break, Bima. Ends a Bentley. Too bad I can't afford one. Down eight. Phillips has yet to check into the game. Clock will be stopped with two minutes remaining. Ippy. Looking to exploit this mismatch. That is a big size differential spin. And win! Hey! Ippy! Six it is point bad. game. Six point game. Team Ginny on up 52 46. Just under seven minutes to go. He's putting the team on his back right now. As Mark and Rage. Breaking down what needs to be done. Deuce. Frieda got a mismatch. Pulls up in MMG's face. Off the mark. Oh my God. I just saw a man fly. All right, the subs are coming back in. Mark, Sal, and Duke coming in for this last six minutes to make that final push to see if they can. And Deuce, if he deserves a standing ovation for those minutes. Duke for three. Can't connect. Oh, and bounce off two big men. Oh my god, a Sam Decker level shacking a full moment. That is huge. Sal for four. Can't oh. connect. Duke. Rebound. And Mark has a right, power, power play. play with Team Mark. A power play with Team Mark. One minute double the points. Wow, this could be the game if they play it right. Wilder, they've got their aces out here right now. What a play, finesse on the left side, using That's the right. That's a tough move. Everything tough here right move. now is double. Two, a four-point layup. Yes! No. 40 seconds to go in the power play. Timeout, Team London. They need to get it together. I believe Let's that. Stop that power. Let's stop that power play yeah. clock and add about three or four seconds on yeah, that. I believe it stopped at 40 seconds. That was huge. Fans at home voted that power play. Right here is a four-point layup from Duke Dennis. Man, 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 I promise you. Man, man, man. Get stuck, you go. We got to make sure we're facing cams. I'm not on it. I got you. I got you. We're good. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, I got you. We're on the down. Great. We got the rock. We need to work together as a team. You shut your mouth. Then sit on the bench. Shut up. I busted my ass. Hey, finish. I busted my ass. One, two, three, finish. Sounded like a Disney Channel original movie in that huddle. <laughs> 38 seconds remaining on this power play. If you're Team Gideon, do you dribble at the clock and try to limit their seconds? Going into the fourth quarter, I was in their huddle, and that's exactly what they said they were going to do. Oh, really? If they found themselves in this position, let's see if they're able to do it. Team Mark really has to lock up, potentially force a turnover to be able to take advantage of this power play. They're taking their time here. Chris London, that was a very, very well timed timeout. MMG got to put the pressure on them. 30 seconds left on this power play. Their chances are dwindling. YP, in and out. Jump, finds Friga. He's in no rush. Friga, rack attack to Gideon. Oh, it couldn't be done again. 10 seconds left on this power play. They really could use a bucket. Kennedy, a six-point triple. Yes! I said pandemonium! Way to use your power play! Pandemonium at the RC Convention Center! It's going down! Wilder on Ippy. Loses possession. He's doubled. Looking to draw a foul. A lot of contact. No call. Wilder. Blocked by Cam! Cam! 
with their first lead of the day, 56-54. Oh, a wild pass, MMG corrals it. Timeout by Coach Brooks. Oh, my God, what just happened? Oh, my God, make some noise, ladies and gentlemen. Are y'all watching what I'm watching? This, this is, is unbelievable. So you said one. We're going to let this dude rock. We're rocking. we let this dude rock. Keep crashing. Keep crashing. Keep crashing. Keep crashing. Keep crashing. Let's get on this lead. Extend this shit. No four point plays. No threes. Just bring a cam. Yep. Let's go. Let's finish it. Let's finish it. Yep. Wow. A six point triple from Killer Cam Kennedy. He was missing all night. Hit the biggest one of his career right there. This is insane. And they have the ball. No power plays remaining. We're playing ball old fashioned way. Twos and threes from here on out. 420 left. Cam Kennedy in the post, dog. Unless they step a foot on the four point circle. MMG. Gets him in the air. A foul on the play. And MMG's headed to the line with the running clock until that two minutes. That's right. That's right. We might have to do a 30-second routine right here. Deuce, they were down 11 going into this quarter. Oh, my gosh. Ever heard of the power play, stupid? MMG. Ooh, they needed that one. This is the equivalent of an extra point, so I'm surprised he's off from the line. Let's see if he can hit this. Maybe if he could kick it in. MMG. Deep breath. Oh, no, he followed his shot, but he missed two. Deuce, they left six points on the board. Davis hey, missed four, MMG missed two. T-Mark leads by two. Friga, Ray, Wilder, Harden, and Jesser on the court. Crowd is chanting for defense. They almost gave Cam Wilder a four-point play. Cam versus Cam. Excellent defense. Gets the ball back. Oh, we got a tie game. Yep, Cam's going to do that. They're not going to make it easy. Outlet pass Duke. to Duke. Duke. What a look. Oh, my God. I didn't see. Oh, we're looking for a travel here. Friga comes up with the ball. Kick out. Wilder for three. No. Oh. MMG rebound. Big board by MMG. Sell. Sell saw Duke running. He says, slow it down. Let me give it to my brother, Davis. And Mark, I don't know if he's seen second half action. Looks like he's being a vocal presence for the sideline. Sell to the rack. Contact by Jesser, can't get it to fall, and Ippy is hyped. And remember, the next 30 seconds, the clock will run, but it will stop at two minutes. Oh my God. I cannot believe this comeback we're witnessing. Remember, fans at home, please vote for your MVP as Cell misses, and tomorrow, we are back again. RDC versus Sun Bros, Mark Phillips and them boys look to three-peat in the dodgeball showdown. 8 p.m. Eastern. So, Big shot by Sal. point game. We are under two minutes to go. Clock will stop from here on out. Crowd chanting defense. Friga, pump fake. Good D by Duke. YPK cutting. Oh, contact on the play. I don't know what exactly they're upset about because he's headed to the line. Looks like Friga didn't run the design play. YPK, Deuce. He's been on and off on the line, but when it comes to the clutch, what do you expect? YPK, biggest free throws of his career. That's right, that's right. And with the, with the game coming down to the wire, make sure you are voting for the MVP at the end of tonight's game. There's plenty of options. I'm excited to see who's going to win it. Ice in his veins from YPK on that first one. Oh, can't come up with the second strong rebound by Ippy. He says, chill, I got this. To Marcellus Howard, a true point guard. Oh, he's going for it, dudes. No, okay, a late foul was called. Cell is headed to the line. He's really showing how much of a court general he is in this situation. I mean, when it comes down to the final two minutes of the game, you need a floor general. Cell, he's a floor general. 
I cannot believe how high I am right now. Yeah, I mean, this is unbelievable. My heart is palpitating. So, at the line. Whoosh! Three point lead. This could make it a two possession game. Matter of fact, it can't because the four point shot exists. I, absolutely. So, another one! That's the difference right there. Free throws. Oh it could be a board. God. Frigo, does he go for it right now? 125 remaining. Sizing up through rack attack. Good pass to Jesser. Blocked by two. Rebound by Frigo. Into the lane. Lefty layup is good. Oh my Man, God. Tough. Damn. Wow. How has he stepped up his game playing with 12 rooms? Two point game. 61 59. 105 to go. Can you believe it? Sell. Operating, orchestrating, rack attack. He is drawing a foul every time down the floor right now. 58 seconds to go. Luke, dare I say overtime? What's going to be the difference here, Deuce? What's going to be the difference? Free throws. We saw a lot of missed free throws on both sides today. And with a two-point game, they only have themselves to blame, whoever loses Chris, this one. If I'm Chris London, I'm going Hackett Davis. <laughs> Duke, down two. Back to Duke. Oh no! Fumbles, but sell. So calm, cool, collected. Out to Kennedy. Another huge three. Oh! Killer! Cam! Kennedy! Another one! Deuce wide open in the corner. We don't miss those. As much as the players are really showing out right now, we have to give flowers to Coach Brooks. Hey, hey, Jet, what's his name? Number 23. Oh, no, name. Oh, you get it? Fowler. Bring the ball up. Hey, Jesse. Jesse, right here. Who's in? Who's in? Who's in? Cam. He got the headband on. Hey, I need these guys in the corner. I don't care who it is. They're going to back door, and you're going to go to this corner. Whoever's on this side, go to the corner. You stay up. You stay up. Let's look for the cutter. Whoever has the ball here, look for the cutter. All right? Cutter's not. Drive. Pretty good. All right. Look for your kick. Hey, I'll go this corner. I'm going to be this corner right here. Jesse, go to this corner. All right. Let's go, let's go. Finish on three, boys. It's not over. Chris really just drew something up, Luke. Kind of beautiful, too. Let's see if they can execute. I, like I saw a beautiful play earlier from Cam to Dangan and back. They couldn't get it done, but Cam started cold. Oh, my God, he's been clubbed so far. Now, Cam Wilder today has really shown me something. He is built for this moment. Three go. Down five. Are they going for a four or a quick two or three? Deuce, this is taking a while to develop. Contact on the floor, no call is made. And Cell is fouled. 23 seconds to go. Deuce, they've outscored them by 16 in 12 minutes of game time. Unbelievable. Wow. I told you that Team Mark was coming into this fourth quarter hungry. The momentum was theirs. Back to Cell. YPK is going to push, and he is fouled. shooting. Team Gideon is going to look to put the pressure on this inbounds play. Quick little break to wipe the floor. Shout out maintenance man. Wow, Team Mark, I can't believe it, leads by five, a comeback for the ages. This is unbelievable. I knew they had it in them. I just didn't know if Team Gideon was going to leave the door open. You know who really set it off? Set the tempo was Ippy to start the quarter. Absolutely. He was out there, a man possessed. He's trying to will his team back into it, and that's exactly what he did. Also. Uh oh, they got the trap, Deuce. Who is it off of? Still stays the same way. That was close. 18 seconds to go. It's a five, Deuce, it's a five-point game. They can hit a four and get fouled. I mean, yeah. Anything's possible. Wow, I cannot believe it. Cam Kennedy hits the 6.3 ball as the power play was winding down. That was the play of the game. Kennedy to inbound. He is a specialist on these types of plays. Finds Duke. Oh, my God! A that is two for points for Team Gideon. But dude, hold up. He throws it up to Davis. Time is running out. Six, 
five, four. Foul oh. on the play. Oh my God. An epic blunder. Four seconds to go. Deuce, it's pandemonium here. An epic oh blunder my from God. Duke Dennis. Duke Dennis. I can't even lie. I've done that before in my life. So I feel for you, brother. I really do. How much did London pay him off? I don't know if London even knew that was happening the way he reacted. Honestly, a beautiful play just for the wrong side of the ball. This game has had it all. Three seconds. All they got to do is inbound the ball here. That's it. That's it. To sell. That'll do it. Puts it up. And that is game. And that's game. Team Mark has done it. Marcel is Howard. How about for the ages? MMG. Duke Dennis. Cam Kennedy. Paying hard and get the job done. What a comeback. What a game. Team Mark are your 5v5 champions. Unbelievable. We got to give it to Celebrity Row. They really willed them back in the game with the chance and the support. Team Mark has done it. The MVP YouTube poll is now live. Make sure you vote for your MVP. We will announce it shortly. Wow. Looks like Mark came up with an injury. Hopefully he's okay for dodgeball. He was a great supporter from the bench. Looks like the fans got their money's worth. What a game. That one had everything. Duke Dennis, what the hell? I mean, mental mistake, it happens, but ultimately. And do not forget that tomorrow we are back here. RDC is going. Tomorrow we are coming back here for the dodgeball showdown. RDC is going for three in a row against some bros. Let's get it popping. Make sure that you come check us out tomorrow. What a performance, Deuce. Look at this, pure joy. I'm here with Mark, he is laboring right now with his family. Like, there was a lot of people who doubted us. I seen on social media, I was reading the comments. It was like 8,000 comments. I read every single one of them. There was like, Team GD ain't gonna take it home. There was Cal. Duke, can you break down what happened on that last play? Oh, of, of course. See, like, I kind of like calculated, like, we are five. And like, it's like 20 seconds left. Ain't no five pointers. Listen, mental mis mistakes happen, but I do have some news for you. You are the MVP of today's five all five. You, Duke Dennis, are the MVP. How does it feel? In the locker room, I was kind of playing around. I was like, uh, I learned that it was an MVP, you know what I'm saying, award. And I was like, I kind of want that award right there. So I kind of got that award right there. So I'm thankful. You certainly earned it. Put in the work and the hours. Duke Dennis here, five on five MVP. What a game. Thank y'all for tuning in. Remember, tomorrow we got dodgeball, RDC for some bros. What a showing. Thank y'all for tuning in. We are the broadcast boys. We will catch you tomorrow. All love, top to bottom, you already know what it is. Peace!